Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is October 1st, 2014, the start of the new month, and the futures are trading lower before the opening bell. You're going to see that the S&P 500 E-mini futures are trading lower by about $6.50 to 1959 per contract. So a decent little dip ahead of the opening bell. This is becoming kind of the norm each and every day now. We're starting to see the futures open up a little bit lower each and every morning. Uh, we'll see where this market trades out today. There are a lot, there is a lot going on out here. We're going to start off with the big news that's come out. Uh, it looks like Ebola has hit the United States. It is in the state of Texas. And if there's one case, there's usually more to follow. So again, we'll see uh, what comes out of this. Right now, the stocks moving on this news are TKMR. And uh, this is uh, Tecmer, supposedly. Uh, they're in some sort of, sort of study. The stock has been a mover for quite a while now, really beginning ever since uh, to the July bottom. The stock has rallied up, but right now it is trading around $27 or make it $26.86. Did trade above $28 briefly this morning. Um, where is the upside in this stock? I'm going to say it's around $31. Now, the stock's not going to go straight up there. It's overbought already. But nonetheless, um, the stock ultimately can go higher. So be a little bit aware that this stock is definitely in play today. And um, you want to watch that. Another uh, stock in a, that could be in play today is BCRX. This has already popped as well. It is start, starting to pull back a little bit. But nonetheless, I do think this one has potential to go higher as well. So keep this on the radar. We'll be looking at these uh, Ebola stocks today in the intraday stock chat room. Uh, come over, take a seven-day free trial. You have nothing to lose. You'll see how we're playing this. Um, there could be a few other biotechs out here that are going to be moving. So again, that whole biotech space is going to be in play today. You want to keep that on your radar. But these are just two names uh, to look for pattern today that could be potentially in play today. But Tecmura is already up. And then you have BCRX also trading higher this morning before the opening bell. So uh, keep an eye on that one. Another one you're going to want to look at is SRPT. Uh, SRPT, this is Sarepta Therapeutics. Uh, the stock is trading at 2240 It may have some upside to around the $24.20 level. I don't see it really getting much above there. But nonetheless, stock is up ahead of the opening bell. These are all names we will be focusing on this morning in the intraday stock chat. So again, take a seven-day free trial. Those of you that came over to the chat room yesterday caught a nice play with us on uh, Ford Motor. We talked about catching that play yesterday, and sure enough, we caught that as a nice, nice trade uh, in the intraday stock chat room. So again, come on over to that. One group of stocks that we will be looking at today is American Airlines. Uh, all the airline stocks are weaker today. Stock closed at $35.48 yesterday. Now trading at $34.43. We're going to have levels for these airline stocks. So again, airlines are getting hit uh, today. They may get hit a little bit more on the Ebola news. And again, remember, if somebody's going to fly from one place to another, where can you catch the bird? Where can you catch this Ebola in an airplane? So again, airplane stocks are definitely under pressure. <clears throat> Delta Airlines also under pressure. Stocks trading at 35, close at 36.15. You're going to take a look at um, LUV, which is my favorite airline, Southwest. Stocks trading at 32.50, close at 33.77. All of these stocks are getting hit today. So, again, airline stocks will be in play. These are stocks that we will be looking to trade today at certain levels. So, again, come on over to the intraday stock chat room. Uh, you'll see all of the trades that we pull off. And, again, be there by 9.30 sharp as the action will begin. Let's take a look at um, a couple of other stocks here. ANGI, Angie's List, catching a little bit of a bid. Stock closed at $6.37. It's now trading at $7.30. Did trade as high as 8 bucks. I'm showing massive resistance at 850. So if the stock does get up to 850, potential short position there, uh, intraday scalp play. Uh, watch for that one, but Angie's List should not have any more strength than it past $8.50 if it can even get up there. I'm not sure that will even happen. Let's take a look at Walgreens, WAG stock uh, closed at 59.27. It's trading at 59.85. I know there was some news out here. I think they signed a deal with, uh, with somebody. Again, it's not really that big a deal, but um, we'll see how the stock reacts. This is one that we may be looking to play today in the intraday stock chat. So again, uh, come on over, take a seven day free trial to the chat room. You'll get all of our trades, intraday plays, everything that we're looking at. You'll also get to see you know, a lot of the swing trades that we hold overnight 
in there as well. Take a seven-day free trial. You have nothing to lose. Let's take a look over here at the gold market. Gold is trading up $1.60 to $1,213 an ounce. Not a great move for gold, but gold is hanging in there today. If you take a look at the dollar yen this morning, what you're going to see, this currency pair, is starting to sell off. So dollar yen is starting to come down. You've got a nice little uh, drop right here uh, beginning just about 30 minutes ago. And when that happens, gold will make a move to the upside. So keep an eye on dollar yen. If dollar yen starts to pull back more, gold will move higher. That's generally the way it works. Let's take a look at Light Sweet Crude this morning. Light Sweet Crude is trading higher by 51 cents to 91.66 a barrel. Light Sweet Crude was hammered to the downside yesterday. Let's go over to the USO and take a look at how we could trade this. Right now, I'm not seeing really a lot of strength, but um, you did have a big sell-off yesterday in Light Sweet Crude. That could continue, but we still have some minor support around the 34 level if it does get down there on the USO. So again, uh, be a little bit cautious with oil right there. But right now, oil is catching a decent little pop today. Like I said, it is up about 50 cents on spot. And we do want to respect that, at least in the near term. Uh, let's go back over to the S&P 500 E-mini futures. Futures are trading down by about $6 at the moment, right around this 1959 and three-quarter level. Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this market plays out. But again, you've got a list of stocks here that are, are going to be played. And um, whatever else we can find, we will throw into the chat room. So just to give you a little morning head start, these are the stocks in motion. These are the industry groups that we will be following. And we'll trade it accordingly going forward. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. And we'll see you on the charts.